Do you reface? Hello, this is Reinhard von Hennix. For those of you who need some background information, here is a nutshell. Reface is a video tool which allows you to put your own video on top of some other pre-produced video, a video clip, a dance scene, a fighting scene, or whatever you fancy. You can put your own images on top of the other ones. Formerly known as Duplicate, this app has now skyrocketed the downloads and it is considered to be one of the hot things. Over 700 million faces were exchanged through this app. Whether it's true or not, it's information provided by the company. Why do I muse about that? Because I see some copyright issues or some legal issues coming up. If you see that one of the videos you produced is now all of a sudden being abused in the reface world, what are your remedies? And Reface's answer on that one is, we only screen the content, we only make sure that content where the copyright owners allow us to play with that will be uploaded. And finally, they say, if there is some abuse, we will take it down. Rather, a weak copyright explanation. Number two, how do you make sure that this is not subject to some kind of intentional misuse? For example, in time of political discussions, you put somebody else's face in somebody else's video. Or it could be also seen as some kind of revenge. It could be seen in so many different settings. But here's my 20 cents takeaway. It's a cool tool, and the tool would have not been as fashionable if not Miley Cyrus would have started using it and it became a hot spot. So if you want to launch a new app, make sure you have a VIP signed up.